Uh, so today guys, I'm just bringing you this video because I want to talk to you about GCSEs and GCSE maths. Now, maths is kind of one of the subjects you need to progress to the next level, especially A level. And most uni courses really like maths and I do A level maths year 12 and I'm failing basically. So yeah, that's all bad, but you never mind. And um, at GCSE, I kind of went from a C to an A star within the January of the start of 2015 to May my 2015 exam. Now I wanted to share with you a few little tips on how you can actually do this. Now, um, obviously I'll just grab pen here, but obviously in your exam, they can't, they take your watches now, they take your phones, everything like that. They check you for like marks, that sort of thing. However, if you have like one or two like little annotations on your hand of like a formula or something which you can remember, just like a few, um, a few like words, not words, sorry, a few symbols, like an I uh, equals DT or something, something really weird like that, which you are gonna remember personally, and that isn't too obvious that you've got writing on your hand, you'll get away with it because they don't check you as you're going in. So then what you can do, you can kind of write a few symbols on each hand, so you probably get like two equations, as long as you remember what they, the letters stand for, or two other things like that. And then you can then kind of, when you get in the exam, straight away write them down on a piece of paper, and then you've got two less things to worry about. You're covered for two topics in case they come up in the exam. So you want kind of two, two points on your hand, probably about three symbols or three letters or however much risk you want to take. And um, you, you can use them as soon as you get in the exam, write them down on your on your foot, on your paper, then just on your hand, get rid of it, no, no sign of cheating. Um, so that's my first real big tip. If it's a tip, yeah, something like that. And then um, my next one is that don't get lost on the basics. So what I mean by that is I'm the type of guy that goes in there, makes so many mistakes, like just like two plus two, obviously not two plus two, I mean like two divided by a half, I'd write that as, I don't even know what I'd write that as. I'd probably write it as two, but the actual answer is four, because how many halves go into two, four? So stuff like that you really want to want to watch out for. Like, I can only probably do about half the A-star a topics, and I got away with an A-star because I focused on the basics, and um, I was able to get that. So let's say, like, I think it's about 20% of the paper out of the 100 marks is uh, a, a, an A-star above. So in theory, if you got everything right up until a certain point, the mark scheme, I mean, the grey boundaries are low, uh, you can actually get a A or high or very low A star without knowing many of the A and A star topics. However, they bank on you making mistakes and very hard questions throughout for for the other topics. So I would really say just focus on the um, uh, C, B, D topics. Make sure you get them right. If you want to get an A star, really focus on getting everything right up until the A star questions, and there you'll kind of have a bit of room for error if you go I mean so um yeah really just focus on that make sure you get everything right up until that point because you only need about 84 on each paper let's just say to get I think it is an A star so 168 overall so you have actually got a room for making a fair few mistakes within the questions and especially a few questions you can get away with not answering on the papers now it's different at A, um, a level maths you kind of need I think to get out of 75 to get a D you need about 50 so it's quite hard. That's why I'm probably why I'm failing. And I'm the type of guy that would make loads of silly mistakes and that sort of thing. But yeah, I just kind of really wanted to bring this video to you just to give you a few tips about Edexcel, Maths and GCSE. And to one year, like, it gets to a point where you're just like sick of doing past papers just really long. I'd say go and just watch someone do a past paper. Just like, I don't know, just get your parents off your back. Just get everyone off the back and um, kind of sit down. Like, you know, when you put YouTube on your TV, just do that. Watch someone go through a past paper. Just kind of spot. Just kind of watch that if you're bored of that. You can go on your phone at the same time. Just make sure you're flicking and out of watching a past paper. Just because it's quite good to see sometimes. Like It might be like you're looking at your phone. You notice that it's a graph question. Looking up, looking up, looking up like that. And then you notice that, oh, he's just spotted a triangle on that graph. And then you go on your exam. You're like, oh, there's a graph. I can spot a triangle. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that very... Uh, I mean, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm going to be do, doing more vlogs and that sort of thing. I'll upload my student vlog from last year for a GCSE exam day, my GCSE results. I'll be doing plenty of A-level vlogs for this uh, upcoming exam period. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest content, really. Um, yeah. Peace.